What's going on guys? Welcome back to the World of Juice channel and today I have a special special little video for you guys because as you guys uh, saw on my last live stream uh, a few days ago it's probably been about four or five days since I did that but uh it was the Hitman gameplay. I didn't really finish the gameplay because I was getting pretty tired and I was just dragging along. But I, uh, I, in that in that live stream, I said that I was going to be limited on how many live streams I was going to be able to do here in the future because I uh, I was moving back home. I was graduating from college and I'm getting a job or I have a job and I'm starting it on Monday. So I wanted to do this video to kind of give you guys some more answers I guess you can put your questions down in the comment section if you have any questions for me you can uh, you can like the video you can subscribe you can uh, you can do whatever you want and uh, if you if you like I said if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to say to me just put it down in the comment section below and I will uh, I will look at all of it and I will answer them if I if uh, if you do leave any questions but I wanted to put this video out there to give you guys some more comment or to to give you guys some more content uh, because I don't know with my new schedule I don't know how many times I'll be able to put up a, a video or even live stream so I wanted to do this video to kind of to kind of bridge the gap uh, so that there wasn't such a big gap between uh, my uploads between my live streams so here's this video it's going to be an MLB 18. MLB The Show 18 video because MLB The Show 19 is coming out. I have it pre-ordered, and depending on my schedule, I look to upload a lot of MLB The Show 19 content, either Diamond Dynasty, which I don't really play very much, but I might play it for MLB The Show 19. I'm not really sure. And uh, and some, some Road to the Show. I love Road to the Show, man. It's such a great uh, career mode. I think it's the best career mode out of all the sports games. And then uh, some some uh, franchise mode also. So if you guys like this video, hit the. If you guys want to see more, hit the like button on the video. Show your support. Show me that you want to see more MLB to show content, and I will give it to you regarding my schedule. So uh, let's get into the video. I don't know what team I'm gonna be. This is gonna be. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be so much as a realistic. Uh, I don't. I guess it could be like a rebuild, but it's just gonna see how long. I'm. I'm basically just seeing how long I can. How long it's gonna take for me to take a team to the World Series and win the World Series. Basically, is all this video is. So, and I do have the most updated roster with Bryce Harper on the Phillies. So I'm gonna be the Phillies and see how long it takes for the Phillies to win the World Series. Everything looks good here. Let's do that. Let's make this manual. Actually, let's make this auto. But let's make that manual and that manual. Okay. We'll start in the regular season because we want to get as much done as we can. And this is basically going to be a simulation. And I'll handle all of, like the trades and all the lineup stuff. But uh, here is the lineup for the beginning of the season, unless I make some changes. Obviously, we got Gene Segura at shortstop, Cesar Hernandez at second base, Bryce Harper, the new addition, the $330 million man I think he got paid. Here on uh, right field for the Phillies, batting third, and then Reese Hoskins, Andrew McCutcheon, JT Real Muto, Adubo Aaron Altair, and Michael Franco has their starting lineup for the Philadelphia Phillies with Andrew Knapp, Scott Kingery, Nick Williams, and Rob Brantley on the bench. And then the pitching rotation is where I feel we need to improve a little bit better. We got Jake Arrieta, who I'm not a big fan of. I might look to move Jake Arrieta. I am not a fan of, of him just in, like, playing. I'm not a big fan of how he pitches and stuff, so... Uh, I might look to move him. Aaron Nola is probably who we're going to build around. 83 overall. Let's look at his player card. What's he got? He's got B potential. He's got some nice stuff. I do like playing with Aaron. Uh, I do like playing as Aaron Nola. He's pretty good. So I might look to build around him as our ace. Uh, Jared Eikhoff, uh, Vince Velasquez, and Ranger Suarez, who I have known nothing about. B potential, 70 overall. <sighs> he might have some trade value. And then David Robinson, obviously our closer. B potential. Throws righty, 86 overall. Pat Nishk, probably going to be their uh, 
He's probably going to be our um, setup man for the for the video. Free agency. Is there anybody decent in free agency? We got Dallas Keuchel and Craig Krimble. I mean, I said this wasn't going to be realistic. So maybe I should pick up these guys, and then that, that would be pretty good for our... Uh, yeah, let's... How much money do they want? Oh, we're going to have to pay a lot of money for these bad boys. Yeah, okay, we're not going to be able to get either of these guys. Oh, we might be able to get Keiko. That could be a thing if I drop it down. If I drop it down to a two-year deal at seven million and give him an ace, is he gonna is he gonna accept that? Oh, I can't even do it because it's thing. Okay, I don't I don't want to do that because I might have to release somebody, and then I don't want to have to release somebody while uh, and I then I don't end up getting him. That'd just be bad. So. Let's move on to the trade block. Let's see. We got third base. We need definitely left field. Probably a center fielder as well. Uh, shortstop. And we can do one more starting pitcher. Okay. Who do I want to put? I want to put Jake Arietta, Arietta on the block. I want to put JT Real Muto on the block. I don't. I think I can upgrade on him. Uh, Jared Eikhoff can be on the block. Gene Segura can be on the block. I'm not a big fan of him. Uh, Ranger Suarez can be on the block. I bet he's got some value. And uh, that's probably going to be it. Now, I think I'm not going to make any moves to start off with. I'm just going to see how this team does with the addition of Bryce Harper. I'm going to simulate probably halfway through. I'll go to the 21st or the 22nd. Oh, i got to turn off critical situations. Yes, I would like to stop. So we are 0-3. Wow. Okay. Uh... Turn off critical situations. That's not how this season was supposed to start out. Uh, David Robinson, keep him active. Okay, now we won three in a row. That's what I like to see. Auto fix those lineups. Keep him active. Come on, boys. Come on. Reese Hoskins gets hurt. Keep him active. Zach Britton gets traded to the Rays for Blake Snell. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Okay, we turned it around to 6 and 7, which is better than what we were. We started off the season 0 and 3. How's everybody doing, though? Let's look at coach contracts. Gabe Kepler. We are four games back of the Braves. We're 10 and 3. Bryce Harper, how's he looking? Uh, let's go to league leaders. Bryce Harper is leading in batting average with a 4 7 8. He's got three home runs, 11 RBIs, one stolen base. He's got 22 hits. How else are we looking? Home runs. Who's leading our home runs? JT Real and Muda with four. RBIs. Who's leading ribbies? JT Real and Muda with 17 ribbies. Harper has 13 runs. Slugging. Harper leads on on base, slugging, and OPS. That's pretty impressive. How are our pitchers looking? Let's look at stats. Players' stats. How are our pitchers looking? JT. Jake Arrieta is 1-2. and two. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade the pitching. The pitching is just not where it needs to be. Do we have any top 50 prospects? I don't think we have a single top 50 prospect. That is very upsetting. How are we supposed to use that as value? Let's look at the first. Let's look at the, uh, the trading block. See who got put on it. Alex Wood. Michael Lorenzen could be a decent... Uh, Michael Lorenzo could be a decent reliever. Matt Carpenter, Robbie Ray, Fernando Tatis Jr. Ooh, what are they looking for? What are they looking for? He's not ready now. He's only 19. What's what's he looking like? He's a potential 68 overall. He's not ready right now, but I could. That's that's very very enticing. They need a relief pitcher. And a closing pitcher. Oops, nope, not Pat Nishk. Oh my. This is going to take some. This is going to take some. Some stuff. Do I have any A potential relievers? I don't. Pat Nishk is really the only one. I'm not getting rid of Pat Nishk. Rob Braley? Do you want Rob Braley?
You want Daniel Brito? Alex Baum? That does do a lot. What's he looking like? He's got eight potential. He's 64 overall. How about Gene Segura? You like him? Let's take off that second reliever, Victor Arano. We're still... They, they would do it if I gave up Mickey Maniac. What about if I gave Lane Adams? No. Nick Williams? They would do it for Nick Williams. But that's a lot to give up for Fernando Tatis Jr. 19 years old. 68 overall. He's not ready now. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. I don't. I just don't know if I can. I don't know if I can give that much up for a, a player who's got tremendous upside, but just not ready now. I'm looking to. I, I, I can't do it. I'm looking, I'm looking to win right now. So I can't really make I can't really make that kind of move for the future because this series is, is about this this uh, this video is about winning as fast as possible so I can't I can't really make that for the future. I'm, I'm gonna keep going see how see how it goes. see if we get offered any trades. Keep him active. Auto utilize. One to two months for bomb. Wow. Okay, put him on the 60 day. How are we looking? We're 12 and 9 right now. Let's sim to the end of the season. We'll go past Miami. Cesar Hernandez is out now. That's rough, man. Injuries are hitting the Phillies early in the season. Okay, we finished the month 17 and 12. Had a good month. Welcome everyone. Let's jump right in and Roman revisit the struggled. news and events from Monday. Looking first at the NL East, the Phillies Completed combined for a four-hitter as they were victorious in extra innings over the Marlins, four to three. Yankees got Keiko. The Pirates That's took down impressive. the Nationals in Washington, four okay. to two. The Rockies. Let's look at this. We're two games well, back in the Nationals. As they bested the Seventeen and twelve. Field, How's our stats looking? The Milwaukee Brewers allowed only five hits in the game as they got okay. past Who's the Reds in, in Cincinnati, uh, four to two. Catel Marte swung the bat well with three hits as the Diamondbacks Wait, got oh, the victory against the Dodgers. I don't four want to three. Career. The San Diego Padres racked up 11 hits as a team as they got the win over the Giants in Who's San Francisco. Leading? Bryce Harper's leading with seven home runs. Bryce, you got to. You're doing the contest, okay, but seven home runs through a full Sox, month of baseball? Nothing. The Rangers totaled 11 hits as they beat the Tribe How are in Cleveland pitchers six looking? to two. Dave Robinson's got four the wins. Rays grabbed How many saves is he? He's got zero saves. Our closing Detroit pitcher has zero saves. What is happening? Pat Neesh is saving the ball. The Why is Pat Neesh? Why is Pat Neesh our, our closer? David Robinson should be our closer. What is happening here? Leading the Yankees to a win over He's Houston. He's got 15. He's supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I mean, he did get 80. Go up to 87 overall, but. Aaron Nola is at an 84 overall. That's looking nice. Okay, let's go halfway through this month, the month of May. We're doing decently well for a team that hasn't had any upgrades besides Bryce Harper. And as I say that, we lose four straight, of course. We're three games back in the Great NL. Actually, it's the NL West or the NL East? What happened in the major the leagues East. on Saturday? Starting off in the National Let's League. Let's look at the East. awards. How Bryce are we doing Harper on awards? Launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total, helping lead the Phillies to a victory over the Cardinals. We don't have anyone up for any reward, or awards except for Jake Arrieta's got a silver run. slugger for a pitcher with four ribbies. The Braves broke up their five-game losing streak. JT Realmuto and Bryce Harper. The Marlins, nine to four. Any more top prospects? The we Washington got? Nationals hit three long balls. Alex Baum has made it to the top fifty. That's good. We got. Mickey Maniac has made it into the top 50. As team, as they took care of the Mets at and we would have Fernando Tatis, Tatis if I would have made that deal if I would have pulled the trigger, but I just couldn't do it. They ran over Could the not pull the trigger on the Fernando Tatis deal. How's he the playing Padres though in double A? Can I not see? As they got the win after some free baseball uh, against the Pirates, 4-3. to three. Okay, Derek let's simulate Rodriguez this month. Simulate the finished month, the end of the month of May. Put him on the 10-day DL. Keep him active. Well, we need to get some wins here. Okay, we finished the month on a good note. We moved up to second place 
in the NL East. Six TGIF games back in the Nash. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the <sighs> Dodgers combined to allow only four hits as they this defeated the get, visiting this Fighting Bills three to two. The Nationals only yeah, allowed two hits well, in the game as they bad. beat the Braves Bryce Harper's Atlanta, cold now. That's not good. That now makes eight straight wins for the team. The Chicago Cubs combined to give up just five hits as they took care of the Mets at City Field. How are we doing on here? Do we need to move anybody Wei up? Yen how are, won his first how game are of the my, as the my Marlins top 50 the prospects doing? Six to how, four. Are they, how are they playing? Mickey the Maniac, put how together are you doing? Ten total hits as they sank the visiting Buccos so go to three stats. to two. The New York Yankees held the opposition stats. at bay with only four hits up? as they oh my beat God. the O's in Baltimore. Uh, six to audio. Turn everything off. Your attention, please. How do I turn everything off? There. Thank God. That guy was annoying. Uh, okay, how's everybody doing? Mickey, how are you doing? You have zero home runs, 14 ribbies, 11 stolen bases. You're not ready for, you're not ready for AAA yet. Where's the other guy at? Uh, Bomb. His name's Bomb. I know he got hurt, but how's he? How was he doing before that? He had 34 at bats, 30 runs, five hits, one home run, three ribbies. Not looking that good. I'm gonna keep those guys down there for right now. They're not looking that decent. That's kind of worrying me. I might have to dump them before before they show their true colors. I might have to get everything that I can for them. Yes, I want to go to the draft. We have the third pick, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Pick players. Two closers that are looking really nice. Wow. 65 overall, 80 potential. Terrific. Hits per nine, Ks per nine, and walks per nine. Terrific break, terrific home runs per nine. This guy's looking really good. He throws he throws righty, but he bats lefty. This guy bats switch. But the other guy's looking better. He's from Panama. Where's this guy from? Venezuela. How's Lewis Ellsworth looking? He's got 80 potential. He's only 45 overall. Let's get all the accuracy guys up. Ricky Ryan, 50 overall, 80 potential. Who's MLB ready? Pedro Estrada is MLB ready. 65 overall, 80 potential. Not looking that good. I don't know. I think I, I like this Mario. No, I like the... Was it this guy? No. I can't find him now. It was yeah, it was this guy. This guy was who I was looking at, 65 overall, Rafael Alonso. I think I'm gonna take him. Draft Rafael Alonso. He looks really good, and he's coming out of a four-year college. Okay, who else are we looking at? We have no more guys that are accuracy is at a hundred. So we're just going to look at potential now. Von Duke has a pretty good accuracy, I guess. He's 60 overall, 80 potential. His contact versus righties and lefties is pretty good. His power is really good against lefties. At least it has the potential to be really good. He's got 50 speed out of 50. He's got full speed on, as a first baseman. Uh, how are you looking? 70 overall. David Case, he's MLB ready in 2019. David Case, what about Juan Abreu? How are you looking, Juan? Nah, Case looks better. Okay, I'm going to take Case, but Yvonne, I'm going to take Von Duke next if he doesn't get taken. Let's look, see if Von, okay, Von Duke got taken. I saw him on there, so... That kind of sucks, but how are how's Joe Yoder looking? 65 overall, 80 potential. Uh, 
70 arm accuracy, 80 strength. Augustine Tejada? Uh, walks per nine are decent. Home runs per nine are decent. Hits per nine are decent. This guy's just basically just a decent player. He's got nothing special about him. Nothing screaming. What about this guy? Sam Grantham. Not looking that good. Solomon Jones. His accuracy is not very high. As the scouting accuracy is not very high. I don't know. Joe Yoder probably is going to be the guy that I take, I guess. Let's take Joe Yoder. Okay. These guys all still have 80 potential. There's still a lot of there's a lot of 80 potential players left. Holy crap. Who's got the highest accuracy? Who's the highest 80 overall that has the highest accuracy? Okay, this guy. Oh, it's Sam Grantham. We already looked at him. What about Winston Jernigan? Winston Jernigan has 80 potential. He plays shortstop. He's looking like a fast guy. He could be a burner. He's from Ohio, which is where I'm from. He basically looks like a, a burner guy. You know what? Let's take a flyer on this guy. Fourth round, Winston Jernigan. Let's take a flyer on him. Okay. I think this is the last pick. I'm not 100% sure. Bobby Wolf. No, I don't want to I don't want to take him. Let's just look at him. He's ready in 2019. He's a first baseman. He's got 30-30 speed. He's got 70-80 contact for both. Power versus righties is is decent, but power versus lefties is not. He's got decent play to discipline. He's not looking that good. How's Franklin Kearns looking? He can play first, third, and right. He's got 55-55 speed. Contact is pretty good. Power is not good for a first baseman or outfielder, really. Okay, let's just go back to these 80 or 80 potential guys. Johnny Murphy, nope. Johnny Murphy. We're drafting a lot of pitchers. We need to get some. We need to get some of these guys, some outfielders. How's he's he's an extreme pull kind of guy. He's a 70 potential or 70 overall, 80 potential. He plays center field exclusively. He's a fast guy. He's got decent contact, I guess. Let's take this guy. I'll take a flyer on him too. I think this is the last round as well. So, oh no, we got one. This is the last round. Okay, and there's still some 80 potential guys here. Bobby Wolf is still one of the most accurate ones that I have. But his power for a first baseman is not that good. I don't know. I'm going to take it. Let's take a flyer on Bobby Wolf. So our last three picks have all been flyers on guys that we're not sure about. But uh, let's go advance. Let's go sign those players. Completed transactions, trades, view the trade block. Nolan Arenado is on the trade block. Hello, Nolan Arenado is on the trade block. This just got a little more interesting. Okay, where do we go? There we go. So we got Rafael Alonso. Holy crap, 93 overall, or 93 potential, 68 overall. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, our first pick, 19 years old, 68 overall already. He could probably go to Triple A. David Case at a 67 overall, 84 potential for a starting pitcher. He's got good stamina, good velocity, good break, but he's had to train everything else up. Joe Yoder, that's the steal, baby. 64, 64 overall, 89 potential. 21 years old, 83 stamina, good break, decent, really good arm strength and arm accuracy. He's got decent caper nines. This guy is not ready now. He's not he's not ready now, but he's going to be a monster. Winston Jernigan, one of our flyers. Look at the speed, baby. 70 86 speed, 91 stealing, 78 base running aggressiveness, 80 durability. This guy is going to be a speedster. 
He's got he's got decent fielding, I guess. 49 fielding is not great, but 84 potential, 52 overall. He's gonna need some time. Diego Ferreira has got he's got a he's a burner too. These guys, I drafted some speedy guys, baby. And Bobby Wolf, how's he looking? Great contact, great power versus righties, uh, decent vision and discipline. So this guy is basically an everyday first baseman. Can be an everyday first baseman for us. He's got C potential at 72 overall. He's a 70 overall. He could probably go. To, actually, he could go to Triple A right now. A 70 overall first baseman, for sure. Let's sign all these guys up. Let's get all these guys signed on the dotted line. That's a pretty decent draft. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that draft. Now let's go sim a few more weeks, see if we can close the gap on the Nationals. Ooh, Alex Baum is off the trade or off the DL. That's good. I think I'm going to go in for A very happy Father's Day to all you dads out there from us at Inside the Show. Here's what happened around the league on Saturday. I think Starting I'm going to go in for Nolan Arenado. I have to. How can you pass up on Nolan Arenado? Got win number one on the year, helping Milwaukee down Philadelphia. Is he still here? Two. He better be. The Washington Nationals got 11 hits overall no. as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto. I think two. Nolan Arenado got picked up. Grant Dayton earned the third W of his season as we'll Atlanta got transaction past the Padres three to two. Who traded for Nolan Arenado? The Miami Marlins went deep four times as they beat the O's in Baltimore six to two. The Diamondbacks combined for 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the visiting Mets 3 to 1. The Reds Did they take him off the block as, a team as, still on as the team? they defeated Let me go the, the Rockets at PNC Park 6 to 3. Kyle Schwarber He's still on the Rockets. They must have took him off the block. An impressive 7 RBIs at the plate as the Cubs took down the rival cards. There's still some decent three. players on the block. Brandon Belt plated 3 Fernando runs Tatis on the day is still as the on Giants there. defeated their rival Dodgers 6 to 4. Ben Attendee? The Yankees How's he playing? 13 hits in the game of as they destroyed potential. the Rays 7-1. Seven, 7 home runs, 22 Yvonne ribbies. Nova He's decent. The He's playing decent right year, now. Leading the White Sox to victory against Detroit 4-1. To the Minnesota Twins smacked 15 team hits as they pounded the Indians 8 2. How's Chris Davis doing? The Astros allowed only he's a five beast. hits in the game as they beat 20 the Royals homers, in 31 Stadium, ribbies. 3 2. I'm going to see if I can get the Chris Los Davis. Angeles Angels of Anaheim. What do they need? They need a, hits a as catcher. A team as they dismantled the A's 11 to Rob 3. Rob Brantley takes them down a the lot. The Sox knocked out 10 I can hits give as a team. Knapp, as they bested the Mariners Logan Moore? in Safeco no. Field 3 to 1. The Texas Rangers launched three home runs as they bested the visiting Rockies four to three. So that's all we've got for our Father's Day edition. Hopefully you're headed to the ballpark with Dad or at least going out to have a catch with the old man. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Can I get anybody else? I could probably get Jerks and Profar, but he's only a 66 overall. I don't want to get... I'm not trying to get stuck in a bad trade. I could do straight up Andrew Knapp for Chris Davis, which I might do. Offer this trade. Okay, Chris Davis, baby. We just got a beast in the outfield. Okay. I like that. I like that deal. I like that deal a lot. How are we looking on... How are we looking on the trade block? Who do we need? Okay, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we need a third base. I think if I saw right, yeah, Miguel Sano is out here. They need a shortstop. How do you feel about any of these guys? How do you feel about Andrew Pullen or Mickey Maniak, who hasn't been, who hasn't really been doing much? Or Baum? Where's Baum at? What's he play? He plays third base, right? Yeah, there's Alec Baum. Uh. 65 at 19. 
Yeah, let's get rid of bomb. I will get rid of bomb, and I will offer you... Hiker Menezes. You want any of these guys? They want Gomez. They would take him. And they would take Cornelius Randolph, who we really don't need. For Miguel Sano, who is a 86 overall, 24 year old B potential third baseman who's a beast. We're going to offer this trade. We're going to do it. Yes! We just got a beast third baseman. We don't need that anymore. Let's put that in the lineup, baby. Miguel Sano is going to go there. Chris Davis is going to start for us. Reese Hoskins, why is he not starting? Yes. Okay, Reese Hoskins, Miguel Sano, Michael Franco is not going to be there. Chris Davis will be starting left fielder. Third baseman, Miguel Sano, Chris Davis left field. And Reese Hoskins at first base. Third base. So no, left field. Bryce Harper will be right field. I don't know where, why Bryce Harper was not right field already. Actually, I'm going to put McCutcheon in there. First base will be Reese Hoskins. Okay, yes, I like this team now. Let's go auto fix that. Aaron Nola hurt himself. That's great. One to two weeks, 10 day deal. Aaron Nola's back. 60 day for Medina. Feel the trade block. Nola Naranana is on the block again. If he's on the block, then give me him. What's it going to take for me to get Nolan Arenado? Andrew McCutcheon. How about this guy? How about Nick Williams? Budget Terry just... Oh, Nolan Arenado is going to cost a lot. That's right. Okay, let's finish out the month. We got 40 guys on the on the 40... 41 on the 40, man. Screw this guy. We don't need this guy. Who's this guy? Let's look at the uh, situation we got here. Cesar Hernandez. Let's see, play. Cesar Hernandez plays second base. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, yeah. Making a third. Making sure he's in the everyday roster. Okay, let's finish out the month of June. We have 26 on the 25 man. That's not what I wanted to do. We don't need. We don't need. Who's on our bench? We don't need Rob Brantley. Actually, we don't need. Uh, we don't need Nick Williams on our team or on our MLB roster. So he can go down to AAA. Sorry, Nick. Just not good enough. Come on, boys. Yes, that was a big, that was a big end of end of uh, June with the two wins against the Nationals. We needed those. It's Sunday morning. Welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL East, the Philadelphia Phillies knocked out 12 hits as a team as they bested the visiting Nats 7 to 6. Stop saying that Nolan Arenado is on the trade block when he's obviously not. As they got the best of the visiting Nats. Okay, we're nine and a half games back of the Nationals. The Holy crap! Swung it well with 15 and we're tied the for the, as they the wild the card with Braves, the Cardinals. Eight to seven. Wilson Contreras. <sighs> let's go to the to uh, amassing an impressive. Let's go to the All Star break. And three games in a row we lost there. No, no. He's out for two to three months. It's 
it's getting rough out here, man. It is Great getting... Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened Can't in the major leagues back. on Saturday. Starting off in the National League East, the Miami Marlins. Pat Nishk is out. That's hurting. That is hurting. No, I don't want to stop simulating. I mean, hit that. We won the, uh, the All-Star game. And we beat the Padres. Yes. Caesar, come on, man. That's your second time going on the DL this season. We might have to dump Caesar when he gets back. Oh, wait, he's not going to be back in time. The trade deadline is fast approaching. We'll tell you what your team did on Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL okay, East. We're in a three-horse race for this wild card as team, spot. As they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, 7-5. to five. This is going to be a tough one the right Los here. Angeles Dodgers put up 16 hits on the day. Because I don't think we can catch the Nats. Over the Braves, 11 it's going to be eight. tough. The Nationals sent three balls into the seats as they took down the fish in Miami. Five How are we two. looking here? Yoannis Cespedes. Chris had a big Davis fly got 28 home runs for us. In. As the that was a good addition. Miguel Sano, our other big addition of the, Cubs of the season so far, is looking decent. As they beat the Cardinals on the road, 8 3. The Colorado Rockies combined for a four hitter as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics, 7 3. Nobody Mark wants Jake Arrieta. Collected win number three this year as the Diamondbacks took care of the Padres, 4 3. The San Francisco Giants I need to make a trade in this one as they I need to the make Brewers a pitching 10. trade. If you offer, they want Jake Arrieta, and they'll give me Ender and Ciarte and Nick Markakis. No, thank you. You're not even giving me a pitcher back. I mean, seriously. Okay, let's stop simulating because today is the trade deadline. And Welcome I need to, to make inside the show. It's the wild day that is the trade deadline. I need to make Starting a trade for a the National League East. The Boston Red Sox combined to give up just five hits as they defeated How's the Robbie Ray doing three and eight. No, thank one. you. The Atlanta Braves combined for ten hits as a team as they beat the visiting Marlins seven to three. The Rockies combined for four total home runs as Tyson they cruise to the win over the eight. Cardinals seven one. The Rangers smacked 15 team hits as they made it a laugher against the Diamondbacks. Julio Teron is 6 and 7. Corey Seager drove in four overall with two big flies as the Dodgers nabbed the win from the Brewers 8-3. He is something. currently among Alex the NL Wood. leaders in batting average. The San Diego Padres allowed only five hits as a staff as they defeated the visiting Giants 2-1. to one. The Indians knocked out 10 hits as a team okay. as they defeated the Twins in the Twin Cities 5-3. Who can I the snag? The Blue Jays starting up. pitcher, number 56, was victorious for the fifth time this season, leading the Blue Jays past the A's 2 to nothing. He's Justin Verlander keep reached him. a milestone 200th career win as the Astros disposed of the Mariners 16 to 3. He is among the AL leaders in wins. I will give you Jared Icon. And that's the show. The trade deadline is only hours away, so How's don't forget Kopech to check doing? in tomorrow for a full recap He's of the day's seven. events. How about Giolato? 6 and 8. Give me somebody who's got a winning record. God. How hard is that? Five and ten? Are you serious? Three and two for Shane Bieber. But that would shift a lot. Holy crap, they value him a lot. How's Matt Moore doing? How is Matt Moore doing? My good old friend Matt Moore is two and freaking eleven. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Two and freaking eleven. Why is he not on the trade block? How's my good old buddy Mike Leak doing? One and two? That's actually not the worst thing I've seen. What about my other good buddy Felix Hernandez? The king. How's the king doing? He's very cold. I think we could swing Mike Leak. If I gave you Matt McBride, you want Matt McBride? Are you serious? Okay. There we go. Our big pitching 
our big pitching uh, addition of the trading block is Mike Leak, 1 and 2, with a 4.22 ERA. But that's about as good as we're going to get right now. I should be putting some sponsorships on. Why am I not doing that? Get us some extra money. Okay, we're going to sim past the trade deadline. We've made the moves that we need to make. Let's read the message, the important message. Oh yeah, the waiver the trade period. deadline has come and gone. Here's a recap of what happened on and off the field yesterday. Looking first at the NL East, I forgot about the waiver period. Had an outstanding day, driving in five on three hits. Who As we the got? Red Sox Who we got on the waiver the Phillies, wire? Eleven to one. He's in the top five in the American I'll claim League in hits. Scooter. I'll place a claim on Scooter. I'll place a claim on Puig. Can't hurt that. Mike Leake I'll place a claim on Alex Wood. And in return, they'll send starting pitcher Jared Eichoff and first baseman. I'll place a claim on D. According to confirmed sources, Preston Tucker had a total of three RBIs on I'll the day. I'll place a claim on Edison Volquez. Seven to five. The Washington Nationals combined to I'll place a claim on Ichiro. Hits, as they got the best of the visiting Mets, two to nothing. The okay. Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm probably not going to get any of those guys, but that's okay. They nabbed the win against. Oh, I got Edison Volquez. Who would have thought that I'd get Edison Volquez? He's seven one and one, which is not bad. How's his ERA looking? Three point two nine. He's looking better than Mike Leake right now. I will go with this lineup. I gotta dump somebody off the the roster. You're one and four. Get the heck off of my forty man roster. Who do you think you are? Come on, boys. Simulate. The lineup. We need to put Michael Franco there. Come on, boys. Come on. Get some big wins, get some big wins. Jeez. People are getting hurt all over the place. Can't keep up with this. How are you playing? One hit, get off my team. Who do you think you are? Okay, is everybody back? Everybody's back in the right lineup. Let's go down, simulate through August. And we got swept by the Nationals, which is not going to help. But then we win two out of three against the Nationals. It's September 1st. Welcome to Inside the Show. As okay, Monsters we're six and a half expanded. back, Starting and we the are closing East. the gap, the films or we are extending the gap on the Cardinals, the and we're in a battle for the wild card with the Rockies, the, the top seed of the wild card. 12 hits as a team as they beat the Braves in Atlanta. Okay, let's see if we can keep this good, this good streak going. Good for the Iron Pigs. Oh, wow, both my teams. 
Both my teams won the, uh, made the playoffs. That's good. Let's see how they do. Let's watch the double-A team since they're faring a little better. Uh, the triple-A team made it to the next round. And they made it to the championship game. Are the triple-A Iron Pigs going to win? Yeah, they won. The Iron Pigs won the triple-A national championship. Good for them. And the Phillies are playing well too. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league. We're on still Wednesday. fighting the Looking Rockies for the NL wild card. East, the Philadelphia Phillies We're not going to get the top spot, but we are as keeping the, the gap the close or extending the gap from the Braves the day, and the Cardinals. The Phillies sit in second place, and then we can get this wild card. Oh, we're a game back of the Braves. Oh, it's officially scoreboard watching we are a, as the regular we are a game ahead of the Braves, here and we are playing the, the Braves. Starting off in the National League East, oh my Nate God! Was clutch with the bat in his hands. This is deciding our playoff lives. If we lose this Phillies, game, the Braves jump eight. us for the wild, right the second now, wild card the spot. Are in second place in the NL East, nine games back. And oh the my God! Are third in the division. Who's going? Aaron Nola, third. nine and ten. The Mets put together ten total hits as they beat the visiting Marlins. Eight the drama seven. that's Entry gonna ensue. Who would have thought that it'd come down to one game? Twenty games out of first, while the Marlins are at the bottom of the division. They're over. Who would have thought that it'd come down to this? One game to decide our playoff lives. Play ball. Oh. It's 4 nothing already. The Phillies, 5 nothing. Look at this. Look at your boys. 5-3. Okay. Five four. Yes! Eight to four, baby. Eight to five. Eleven to five. Ten to five. And we won the Phillies. It came down to the wire. But the Phillies win the game. The Phillies win the game and make the playoffs as the second wild card. Holy crap, was that a close game. Who would have thought it would come down to the final the final inning? Oh, man. We made the wild card as the second wild card. We're going up against the Colorado Rockies. Mike Leak is getting the start. The final postseason teams are jockeying for position. We won one award, David Robinson. 40 saves, the wins the reliever the of the year. That's pretty good. Hit three long balls as they took down the visiting Braves, 11 to 10. In the okay, standings, let's play this the game. Well, I'm not play this game, but two NL wild card spots with the win. While the Braves are third in the division. Let's quick manage this game. This Robert is uh Gesellman keeps on winning. We got now one game to win this year as the Mets were win. Play ball. We got one game. One game left. We're down two nothing. We're down five nothing. We're down seven nothing. Your attention, please. We're down eight nothing. We lost. We're gonna lose this game. The Phillies have been eliminated by the playoffs because we got completely demolished. Utterly embarrassed. The Yankees beat the Nationals in the World Series. We Hi lose there, everyone. Welcome to this special postseason edition lose two of guys. Inside the Pujols Show. Gets inducted in the Hall of Fame. The World Series. The New York Yankees swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they took down the Nationals in Washington, clinching the World Andrew Series championship. McCutcheon, it is tender as qualifying season offer. for them, and they will look to repeat as champions next year. We're going to tender his qualifying offer. Let's sim past it. Who 
do we gotta offer salary arbitration to? We wanna keep these guys around. These guys are, are our lifeblood of the team. Aaron Nola, definitely. Let's arbitrate him for about six million. I don't know how long this is gonna go, really. Craig Kimball gets signed. Sean Doolittle gets signed. Chris Sale. Can we make a bid for Chris Sale? And Paul Goldschmidt. Let's look at starting pitchers. We just need some bodies, basically. Adam Wainwright wouldn't be too bad. Phillies can no longer. Lo okay, Ian McCutcheon gets it. We can't get Braves acquire a big trade. National sign. Oh, great! The National sign Chris Sale. Okay, let's get through all this. Let's just get through all of this. We don't want any of these guys. Let's go to free agency. Pitchers. We need some bodies. Give me some bodies. I'll take anybody at this point. Okay, we can't get Francisco Lira, can't get Cole Hamels, can't get Scott Casimir. They claim David Case off of waivers. That's just fantastic. Okay. Charlie Blackman's gone. Josh Hader goes. Go to the Rule 5 draft. Do we have a pick? Oh, there we go. Pick a player. Eric Feed. A potential 61 overall top 50 prospect. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm going to draft him. He's a starting pitcher as well. That's exactly what we need. Dominic Smith, a 57 overall 23 year old, is not what I like to see. Let's take Rio Ruiz. He's got a potential at 23. Who's the youngest guy here? 23 year old? Starting pitchers are not looking very good. Tony Singrani. I haven't seen that name in a while. Let's take Tony Zitch. I'm just trying to get some bodies for my team next year. Okay, 
let's take another guy. This Todd Frazier guy. He made the all-star team, but I don't really need a C potential guy. take a flyer on that man there's not really anybody else that I want so let's auto draft the rest of that let's keep simming DJ the Mayhew goes to the Rangers Ender and Ciarte goes to the Cardinals and we're in spring training Sim to the regular season, and we are in the next season. Ha, we got a guy named Willie Becker. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. This team is this team is decent. Look at this team. The pitching right rotation still needs a little bit of work. But what are you gonna do? This guy's gonna be good. I think that's going to be the it, the end of the episode here for today. If you guys want to see some more of this Phillies kind of rebuild, then uh, make sure to smash that like button and uh, comment down below if you want to if you want to see more. If you have any more suggestions, or for next year for MLB 19, if you have any more team suggestions that you want to see, or if you have any more questions about, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any more questions about. Um, my schedule or or uh, what's going to happen with the future of the channel then you can put that down in the comment section below as well so uh yeah thank you all so much for watching remember to hit that subscribe button on the channel hit the like button show your support and turn on notifications so you never miss when i upload any of these videos and i will see you guys next time see ya